Well, hey there, YouTubers, and uh, thanks for joining us for the next video. Although it is a little bit late, I have to uh, put my hand up, but the weather's just been so nice, and, and to be perfectly honest, I wanted to sit inside editing videos and, and all the rest of it when it's such a beautiful day. Anywho, um, this is the project this week, it's our, uh, our little planter bench, but to be perfectly honest with you, it doesn't matter if you uh, think of it as this miniature size, slightly bigger for kids, or full size, made out of some beautiful English oak um, for the garden, a full size bench. It's exactly the same um, construction method, apart from the slats at the back. But uh, if you want to see how this was built, then you stick around. I've, um, I've cut my initial components, these aren't all the, all the pieces, um, basically you've got two front legs, two back legs in corners orientated as you can see, and then these four pieces will make up kind of the seat area where the, the plant will drop into and then one for the back. Um, I do want to put arms on it and I do want to put some nice slats in the back and I probably want to put some little runners, you know, but actually make it like, like a little bench. Um, Kind of the point is twofold: a to have a little thing for the, the plant to see, in and also to um, to give this a good run for its money. Um, so I haven't cut all the the leg stretches or the the, the vertical slats for the, the back of the seat or the arms or anything because a I don't know how big they're going to be at the moment, um, and and c this is kind of fairly rough sawn square-ish timber, um, and with a jig like this, it, you really, for best results, want properly squared off stuff. Um, the instruction book says, by the looks of things, to set up for the tenons first. Um, and I know that this is inch and a half, so I'm going to use in a third of that, so half inch. It's got my half inch cutter and asking to set out now one of these tenons, this one here, um, I've marked out according to the instructions for the centre line of the tenon and the, the shoulder marks. So I'll use this to set the, the jig up and then I think once it's done um, I won't need to change any of the settings so that's why it's not done on the others. So let's get this in the, the jig. So identical so that was really quick it probably took me about 20 minutes to do I'm going to swap over now and set up for the mortises so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a sweep up one thing I've decided I definitely want to sort out the extractor for this whether I make one or buy the, the specific one for it I don't know but we'll definitely need that okay so I've already cut two of these mortises um, what I did when I marked these out is I marked where the timber was going to be not where the mortise was going to be so I've actually gone back and remarked all my mortises to where the mortise is going to be. Um, again, on the um, on the ends, so the width is, is set. Um, and straight off, they they fit really nicely. They're, they're tight, but they fit really nicely, um, and they all fit nice and nice and square. So what I've done is I've swapped to my half inch cutter and I've put the additional guide bush on so that runs straight so it just gives me a, a straight line
pressure, so it's actually not going in that mortise. But it goes to prove the point that uh, all the mortise is consistent, all the tenons are consistent. So yeah, I'm really, uh, really quite pleased with that. What I've got to do now is mark out for these on the, the long edge, and because these are my legs, I want to mark them on the inside flush so they've got a step to the front rather than so I need to readjust the, the face plate on here. So what I need to do is just knock back the corner of them and they'll become mitred tenons inside the, the leg there. That's my bit done, I'm going for a cup of tea. Well I hope you enjoyed the video, it was a lot of fun. Um, first time I'd actually built a, a bench like this, but um, yeah, I, I'll use exactly the same methods, the jig again. In fact I've got set out for, a, for another four. Um, I really I really like these, I think these are quite cool and um, kind of quirky around the, uh, around the garden. Hope you uh, enjoyed watching. I had a lot of fun building. Please do like and subscribe, comment, share, tell your friends, all that good stuff. Obviously, support free woodworking on uh, on the internet. And uh, don't forget to check out my website. I'll probably put a um, stuff on on this about the the other ones. Yeah, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. We'll see you around. <laughs>